Hi gems, how are you today? So we're going to jump into another no contact read. So if this does resonate for you, remember to thumbs up the video here on the white tee. I will have the playlist links below in the description box if you guys are interested. And I'm also decided today to do a special with readings, okay? We have a 12 minute reading going for $50. So if you guys are interested for a 12 minute reading, the, just hit me up on my email address, the scene, the channel name, the scene, tarot at um, gmail.com. And that only is going to be um, available for the rest of this month. So I think, you know what, not even that. Let me just extend it until the 20, oh yeah, about the rest of this month. So today which is the 23rd, I believe, right? If I'm not mistaken. And then we are going to make this up until the 28th. So if you guys are interested, not the 28th, oh my God, 30 days in this month. So the 30th will be the last day for that request, okay? So let me know by email. All right, so let's get entwined with your reading. Gemini for no contact, the person that you're thinking about that you haven't been in contact with this person having been in contact with you you don't know what's going on here divine what's going on for gemini gemini's and this person that they're thinking about or the person that's thinking about gemini what is the energy for no contact oh wow all right so i'm getting the two of wands in reverse you guys let's uh, i feel like this person challenges you, but I also feel like this person really affected you emotionally. This is what I'm feeling because it's like they're having you make a choice between something that you are not really interested in in this moment. And I feel like a lot of you had no other way to just walk away from this because you feel like you were compromising yourself. Okay, and really going against what you feel like you're worth. Okay, so we have the world in reverse here. We also have the King of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. I'm just going to put my energy deck over here. And then the Ten of Pentacles as well. Why am I getting this Ten of Pentacles all day? It's like the only thing that's coming up in the upright, you guys, where someone is really valuing the legacy of this relationship. So a lot of you could be like, you know, you started a business with this person or you have a child with this person or you built something, some kind of foundation. For some of you, this could be a mother figure or a father figure like your mom or a dad that you haven't spoke to in a while or don't spoke, speak to you anymore because you had to compromise yourself or what you believe in in that moment to be in their energy or in their lives. And you picked yourself. You had to pick yourself. You know, you felt incomplete with this choice that they were giving you. You felt like you wasn't yourself. This is what I'm feeling. A lot of you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius or a Virgo energy or someone with a Capricorn um what did I say that Gemini Aquarius or a Libra energy and then we have Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy so I feel like when it comes to loyalty this person didn't give that to you um this person didn't make any moves and make you feel like you were solid within their lives within their hearts I feel like in the two of swords you guys have a lot of differences here and you had to make a choice for yourself and I feel like when you made this choice or you're for those of you who haven't yet you're going to make a choice where it's peaceful you know you're not interested in breaking bridges um, you're not interested in you know walking away with the you know with feelings or you know unnecessary words that didn't need to be spread or to you know say some that don't say something that you will regret moving forward so you want to just put everything out there and you know move on gracefully you know this is what I'm saying here so the eight of pentacles wow so this person is thinking about trying to make things work with you like better in themselves I feel like the message that we're supposed to learn within this connection it 
finally have been learned and i feel like what this is why the angels had you guys into each other's life finally there's a breakthrough here with truth with you know clarity whatever you want to know from this person i feel like finally you're going to get the answers we also have the conversation so wow this is great i'm seeing a lot of communication here from the knight of swords to the ace of swords to the king of swords i feel like there's a lot of thinking going on <laughs> A lot of thinking going on a lot of information being received a lot of downloads being received and finally this person is going to like you know have to think about everything to, to form some kind of action but then I am seeing the six of Pentacles in reverse so there's some kind of money that's tied up here some kind of um, um, receiving like someone was receiving something from this relationship and wasn't given back the three of wands is also here so I feel like there's some kind of distance from you and this energy and feel like there is some kind of like you live a far away kind of vibe. Like this person is feeling like they want to travel or they're trying to reach out to you. This is what they're like. There's some distance. There's something between you and this person too. Like someone is like trying to be between you and this person. But this person wants to reach out. This is what I'm seeing here. They've got the Queen of Swords. So it's like a form. A lot of communication is coming through here in this reading. From the Knight to the King to the Queen. This looks really, really good. And all those um, swords is in the upright with all the com conversations. Even the Ace of Swords, which is the biggest deal of all. So there is a form of understanding. Like this person is thinking about you and really just like trying to be in your shoes and how they made you feel in that moment and trying to understand where you're coming from so and i feel like you and this person is going to be letting each other know um how you feel and you know all of everything is going to come out so this is good this is good we have the four of wands here as well we have the nine of wands we have the eight of wands wow look at the history we have the ten of wands in reverse oh wow so you have one two three four five six wands here six wands <laughs> i feel like there's going to be some kind of success you know this is what i'm feeling with this energy look at that justice i was right you know, this person is definitely going to choose you and give back whatever balance they have took from you. This is what I'm seeing here. So the truth is coming towards you with this energy. Perfect. So you have Libra energy coming out here. Another wand, six of wands here. I feel like you guys have to definitely work towards, you know, your goals together. I feel like it's going to be a lot of work. There's a lot of fear here, so make sure that you're not making relationships, relationship decisions based on this energy, which is fear, because this person have, you know, um, you know, this what is it hurt you before or put you in a, a difficult place or to make difficult decisions. Make sure you're not um, bringing this energy with you when you're deciding to move forward within your life. Okay, so we have some wands. We have the four of wands, which is your eleven eleven, which is a really big deal. I feel like this person wants to see where things go with you wants a future with you they look at you as their other half this is what i'm seeing here they value the relationship with within them i feel like with the nine of wands of course you guys are going through a lot together a lot of history a lot of burnout but i feel like you both don't want to let go of each other this is the proof right here so i feel like this person will be coming to you very very quickly with the eight of wands oh my god i'm seeing cupid bows i'm seeing love here i'm seeing arrows coming towards you like this person wants to let you know the truth themselves if the truth is going to come out if that makes sense then i'm seeing the ten of wands here there's just like a burden like this relationship i feel like you're saying hey you know what if this is going to work it has to be changes here which they will it will be a huge shift coming your way with this energy and i'm seeing the justice like i said before so of course they're going to do whatever they can to make you feel comfortable within the justice so they're going to give back whatever energy is missing here but this is going to cause you and this person to have a lot of work a lot of faith within each other if you want to make this relationship work okay so i like where this is going this is what i'm feeling here so all right, so let's get into the energy. Let's get into the energy. I'm not gonna take that for Gemini, no contact. What's coming? Ooh, you have an angel, the second chakra. 
intimacy and creativity so just know that it's getting hot in here and it's being blessed okay a lot of you seem to be running away from your issues this is what i'm feeling but i feel like you're trying to recharge you're trying to get back to a place that you can actually have a conversation with this person without going crazy and i feel like a lot of you are trying to get into your spiritual aspects as well so look at that the sun in leo wow okay do we have any major energies here okay i see seen libra energy but that's about it right yeah i mean there's a lot of fire energy and i also see the world like you know gemini aquarius and taurus and leo energy so oof let's see but we have leo here as well but this is form for action I'm seeing differences, you know, black and white. Like, you guys are different, but you complement each other at the same time. But there's something keeping you guys apart. Your sixth chakra. So you're going to have to make a huge decision. And I feel like your sixth chakra is definitely trying to help you to clear your mind. And um, to be grounded, because something huge is about to happen. I feel like a lot of success is about to come into your life. Of, okay, I feel like someone that is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, masculine energy, someone with an older energy is coming towards you as well. Um, to help you to be successful and to keep you grounded. It's all about keeping you grounded here. But this is what I have for you, for your no contact. I hope that this resonates, you guys. And if it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I will see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.